Hey everybody, welcome to today's update on Daily IoT. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Happy Monday to you. On today's episode, I wanna talk about the enclosure design for our hockey puck product. And um, I got an email from Predictable Designs last uh, Friday uh, that was saying, hey, I noticed you're using an actual puck, boring it out. Have you considered doing an actual plastic enclosure that just looks like a puck? And the short answer to that is yes, I had considered that. Um, but then I thought, oh, it might, it might make an interesting episode to really talk through my reasons um, on the decision that I came to on this. And I don't know if this is the right or the wrong way. It's hard to tell sometimes when you're working on a product um, I'm finding, you know, am I focusing on the right stuff or not? And this is one of those where I can think about this either way. And so, I, yes, I've been using a puck, an actual puck that I carved this one out with a chisel. Um, not the best way to do that. And uh, I also thought uh, it would be a lot easier to just have a, a plastic enclosure that I could at least start prototyping with by 3D printing. But then at, at scale, you know, you can just have those fabricated and slap all the electronics in, snap it shut, and then deliver it. And there's obviously a cost, a, a huge cost difference to this, right? If I'm buying a, um, especially if it has like a team logo, a licensed puck, a puck like this, which is just a, a blank dummy puck, I think you can get it for like two bucks on Amazon, but an actual licensed logoed puck is gonna run you, um, if it's officially licensed and not just a cheap knockoff, it's gonna run you probably like 12, 13, $14, depending on the team and, and where you buy it from. And so there's a lot of cost associated with doing that versus just cookie cutter having a case that's a puck um, <clears throat> that then I could brand afterwards, whether that's sticking a sticker on it or something like that. And so that is an option, full plastic enclosure. If I want a logo, I can buy a logo sticker, license sticker and slap it on there. Uh, and that works a, a lot lower cost of materials to do that and manufacturing process. Again, when I want to use a puck, I got to get a hole in it somehow that I can melt all this stuff in. And so those are the two sides and I really, I had really dismissed that early on of no, no, I'm doing a hockey puck. That's what it is, the hockey puck project. Uh, I don't want to make a cheap knockoff thing. Um, but there's ways around it. Like you could do texturing on the plastic to make it feel more like a puck. You could even put weight in it, which would still be significantly cheaper than using an actual licensed puck. And so I really kind of went back and forth through this and I, I got to a point where I was like, I'm not really sure. like. I feel like if I want to follow just the pure money approach to it of like what's the lowest cost to produce this so I can make the most profit, um, I would go with the plastic enclosure. Um, the flip side of that too that also had me worried is how accurate am I going to be able to bore these things out repeatedly so that the finished look is really nice and so I was really starting to sway towards plastic enclosure and then as I was thinking about it, I picked up the puck that's sitting on my desk here, and as I was just holding it, and the weight of it, and just the feel of it, and you know, pucks are, if you've never held a hockey puck, they are solid. They are not, not they're frozen when you play with them in the games, but even not frozen like this, it is hard vulcanized rubber, like it is solid. And it just, I don't know, while I was holding it, I was like, this is like, this is the feel. Like, I love this feel. And, you know, that triggered another thought. Oh, here we go, I'm, I'm Juicero. Like, oh, my beautifully designed crushing gear mechanism that's gonna give you the best juice. It just, it looks and feels so beautiful. And I was like, am I Juicero right now with my puck? Like, I love the feel of the puck and the weight of it. And it just, it feels solid. And am I Juicero? And the answer to that is, I, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe I am, maybe I'm making a completely stupid decision to say, I'm gonna start with trying to put this inside an actual hockey puck, because that is the experience that I'm looking for. And that may prove to be dumb. Like, oh, people would be just as happy in a enclosure and it would be a lot cheaper and easier to manufacture. And so that's, that's where I'm at. I don't have the answer. I mean, my answer is I am going to proceed trying to stick this in an actual hockey puck. Um, but I just wanted to share the thought process around that of the things that I'm thinking of, oh, should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? And hindsight's always 2020. If it works, it's like, oh, I'm a genius. If it doesn't work, it's like, I obviously should have chosen the case and here are all the reasons why. But I don't know, as you're thinking through it and you're actually sitting here trying to make a decision, there's a lot of things that go through your mind that, um, that you take into consideration of how you want to do something. Uh, and so in, in my case, I'm going to try the puck. Um, 
and forego the enclosure. And I can always change my mind on that. It's just, it's going to incur more cost um, going from whatever I, enclosure I need to get it into the puck versus a different enclosure. All that stuff costs money. So wrong decisions cost money. And that's part of why I'm sharing this. Um, I, I'll update you when I get down the road. If I get to a point, I'll flip back to this episode and say, why was I so stupid? And I should have just done the other thing. And so we'll see. That, that's why we're sharing the journey. And I hope that you find uh, some value and interest in it. And so that is the uh, update for today. Question of the day. If you we're going to buy a memorabilia hockey puck with a screen installed in it. Would you care if it was in an actual hockey puck versus a plastic enclosure uh, or not? Uh, which would you prefer? Question of the day, stick it in the comments down below. A little bit of market research for anybody that would take the time to answer that question, please. Even if you're not interested in this as a product, answer anyway. Say, I think I would care or I wouldn't care. So in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic uh, rest of their Monday. And thank you so much for watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the internet of things one day at a time.